On October 21st, I returned to Elgin for Nightmare on Chicago Street, reprising my role as the Mad Doctor, well, one of them. Um, I got, uh, I brought along, I brought along my trusty lab coat and my uh, tools. They said they, I got there, they said, we have a, we have a doctor's jacket for you. And I said, well, I have my own outfit. I have my own costume and I showed it to them and I, I put it on and it wasn't as messed up as I thought it was from last year. And it still had a few drops of blood on it here and there, but for the most part, it was, it was in good condition. Um, they looked at it, they liked it, uh, but, uh, they did insist on making a few slight alterations to it. Now it's working. <laughs> for my craft. Okay. Alrighty. Hope this washes off tomorrow. I have to be at church tomorrow, you know. hopefully see you ladies at the Silent Hill presentation. Yes. So, after I got made up and uh, my clothes were altered, I got to uh, meet my uh, partner my fellow doctor, his name is uh, his name is Jake, um, Judy, Judy Brownfield, um, the lady who recruited me last year, and she kept in touch. Uh, she said she wanted me to mentor him, but uh, once he told me, you know, his background and everything, I told him. I said you should be mentoring me because he was in. Uh, I think he was. Did he say he he had just graduated from high school? But he was part of an improv group. He didn't say whether he didn't say the high school had an, his high school had an improv group or something. He was part of an improv group, and I've done improv before, but mostly it's just like audience participation. I've read uh, I did read a book when I went up to the Improv Olympic in Chicago years ago. They, uh, I bought a book from them on how to perform improv, and I've, I've performed with improv group, an improv group before, but that was just more like an audience participation thing. I wasn't actually part of the group, but um, I think I did all right. Um, I enjoyed, you know interacting with people and interacting with the the visitors and you know playing off of them and just I did I, the, when she said she wanted me to mentor him I thought wow she must really think I'm good and I was thinking how would I mentor this guy what would I tell him and I just I just all I could really think of was just trust your instincts but don't you don't have to be real over the top. I think a lot of times what works for me is just being just being still and being malevolent. You know, you don't have to be all in their face or anything, but um, but just basically just trust your instincts. That's all I could really think of to tell him but I didn't have to tell him a thing because he was already he had way more experience than I did and he we didn't really we didn't work together because he was in the, he was in one section of the the medical wing where we were at and I was in the other section so we weren't together
but um, it was a little different this year. They actually brought in a guy who was a professional haunter, and I guess he had his own he had his own style of doing things because his experience was a little different than ours. Um, we were not really supposed to interact with the the people at all, really. We were supposed to, they were supposed to be like, the way they described it is we were supposed to be going about our business and they were supposed to be like ghosts. So we were just vaguely aware of somebody, a presence there, but we weren't supposed to interact with them or speak to them or anything, which I, I admit I was a little bummed about because I, I enjoy interacting with the, the people that come through and, you know, playing off of their whatever it is they do and stuff but uh, I, I did the best I could I yeah I would just I would just look up I wouldn't I would look at them but I wouldn't look directly at them in the face I would just kind of have like this blank expression on my face but uh, it, it really didn't last that long and I think really that was for the best because it well, what happened was there was this, uh, in the section that I started out in, like the, the autopsy room, there are these metal dividers, these sliding metal panels that uh, the nurses were supposed to open up so the, the people could go through to the second section. Well, the, the panels kept falling down, and we would try to put them back up again, and we just couldn't get them to stay on the track, and, and then the... The the people were supposed to wait for the nurses to open up the, the panels and let the people go through. But they were going through by themselves, and they, they started knocking the panels down. So <clears throat> things didn't quite go the way they were supposed to be going, which which was fine with me because I got to, you know, I got to move around and stuff. They said I was supposed to stay behind the autopsy table and, and work with my my props and stuff. But uh, that didn't last very long. And then, of course, uh, then the power went out. Well, we lost power. But uh, they're trying to work on it. They're doing they're doing the best they can. So we're just hanging out back here. Yes, we have Oreos. And candy and pop and chips and everything. Awesome. How are you doing? And you you are you are a zombie with a gas mask. Oh, awesome. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, pretty decent. Awesome. Just wanted to show you these real quick. I got these pins from the HP Lovecraft Historical Society. That one was my sanity pin, sanity meter. meter. And that one is my uh, medical badge from Miskatonic University, from the School of Medicine there. And you thought, and you thought they only did audio CDs. They do pins too, and they do an awesome job. You guys are awesome.
after the power got put back on um, I got moved up to the front of the uh, medical center and um, I did uh, ask permission for this beforehand and, and the lady who was in charge of everything said it was fine Sven in very high spirits um, they still couldn't get the, uh, the the sliding panel fixed so they had uh, one of the workers there he was sitting there in front of the panel opening it for people he had a he had on a, he had on a doctor's coat and I said well at least you're in character and he laughed and they basically told us do whatever you want which was perfectly fine with me, so I got to open up and uh, work the crowd, and uh, I, was, I stayed up in the front sp spot for the rest of the evening, and they would, uh, they would let the, the people in a little bit at a time, a few people here, and then they'd wait and let them go through, and then let some more people through, and I, I kept everybody entertained. I made sure everybody, you know, stayed where they were supposed to stay and didn't go until they were supposed to go and I had the uh, the fake arms that were there scattered around the, the the room and I'd go up to the girls and I'd shove the hand at them and yell pull my finger and they would just stand there with this terrified look on her on their faces, and I'd shake it at them and say, "Pull her finger!" And 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 their boyfriends would go, "Go on, pull the finger, pull the finger!" And she she kind of reach out and get and give it a little tug, and I would say, "Thank you," and then walk away. And their boyfriends would burst out laughing, and other people would burst out laughing, and then they'd get to walk through, and I'd give them all high fives with the severed hand and uh let's see what else happened oh there's one girl uh that was waiting to go in we got to first we played patty cake i had two severed hands one severed hand and one severed arm and we played patty cake and then she got me to play mary mac all dressed in black i had never played that one before but that was that was something i i kept up with her as best i could because she kept going faster and faster and finally she won and the highlight well one of the highlights of Sven getting to see Sven and get him to sign my notebook was the highlight but uh, one of my uh, friends from the writers group my writers group her name's Jenny McHugh Jennifer McHugh she was gonna be there with her husband she she goes there um, and goes she dresses up in costume as something different each year uh one year she went as Drusilla from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh last year she went as some character some witch on Supernatural she has like red hair and I don't know I I've never watched Supernatural I've only seen like clips of it so I don't know who these people are uh, but she's a witch. She had like red hair and she has marks on her body or some such. But uh, this year she went as Heather from the Blair Witch Project. And I was hoping to get catch a glimpse of her. And sure enough, her her husband was dressed as Pyramid Head. So I looked out in the crowd and I saw Pyramid Head. And I'm, I'm scanning around and lo and behold, there she was right next to him. And I'm 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 there watching them and looking and looking and looking and finally I, I caught her caught her eye and she saw me and her face lit up and I motioned her over with one of the with the severed arm and she came over and I just looked at her I said I have just one question for you and she's like yeah and I said are you scared to close your eyes and she said yes I'm scared to close my eyes and I said well yeah good you might run into something you know and she laughed <clears throat> but uh, yeah I thought that up I spent uh, days thinking up something to say to her when I saw her and I finally got to say it to her and 
I was pretty pleased with myself. Uh, but the evening, yeah, it went, it went a whole lot better once they just basically said, just do whatever you want. They just turned us loose. And that really worked for me because I can improvise, you know, and, and interact with the crowd. And I like doing that. I really do. Um, I'm not always the most sociable person, but I don't know, in a situation like that, it just kind of, just, I just get kind of, just wearing, being a different character just kind of liberates me. And I enjoy myself. And everybody else seems to enjoy it too. I, he said, uh, the lady who was in charge of our area, the medical area, she said, I killed it. And so I was very pleased about that. And that's what I that's what I posted on Facebook that night. I said, I killed it. And I was really happy I got to go again this year and hopefully they'll keep me in mind for next year. Because I, I really I really had a blast. It was great.